if you have to see yourself in 20 years later, right? What's the thing that you can do it over and over again without getting bored? I'm Joey, I'm the owner of Skinny Cakes and my shop is located at Bunking MLT. So before I open Skinny Cakes, um, I used to be a marketer in FMCG and also doing direct sales. So I've been in the FMCG industry for 8 to 9 years. I graduated from SMU with a business degree. So before I hit the thesis, like I want 129, so I decided that like it's now or never to do what I really like, which is making cakes. Before I have kids, before I settle down, so I thought that I'll just go ahead and follow my passion, I follow my dream. After you've been in the corporate world for a really long, you realize it's always the same thing in and out. Most of the time you're doing what your bosses want instead of what you think is right. Yeah, so I just thought like, cakes made me happy. I just like to make cakes with my own hands. People eating my cakes, right, also made me happy also. Yeah, so I just decided I like, just do it lah. Yeah, I really just do it. I always have this um, life motto is you never know, you never try on. Otherwise, you do uh, need to regret this time. My character is always like, I will just, anything that I want, I will try. I will not only try rice once, I will try many times until I get it right. So I started baking when I was 13 years old. Throughout, like even when you're working or schooling, right, anytime I have free time, I'll be making cakes. All the time, all my friends know that. I know how to make a cake. I know how to follow a recipe. Give me a recipe, I probably know how to do it. But I do not know why the recipe comes out like that or why certain ingredients when you mix them it becomes like this. I had a very curious mind like why things happen, what's the baking science behind it. I need to think on my own and create recipes without copying other people's recipes. So I went to Taiwan to learn. I took sabbatical off for my work. My boss allowed me at that time. I ran Taiwan for three months. It was a very short and intense course. Every day you're just making cake, 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 cake. And then after that, then I came back. I was like, Mimi, this isn't what I want. But after that, and one and a half years later, I realized that this is really uh, what my passion lies in, is really making cakes. If you have to see yourself in 20 years later, right, what's the thing that you can do it over and over again without getting bored? Making cakes is one of, I only can see myself making, like creating new recipes, like challenging the norms of a traditional recipe. So I went back to Taiwan again, and I went to learn bread <laughs> for another three months. After that, I came back and I quit my job for real. So I went to work at different um, central kitchen. So like, I work at various central kitchen, bread shops and patisseries or so. Yeah. Then after realizing it's time for me, like maybe I wanted more, which is like I wanted a place to call my own. And the problem is right, outside a lot of shops, I mean cafes, their kids are laden with high sugar. Um, what happened during that period is I actually had an eczema outbreak from having too much sugar. Then I realized, oh, there's a demand for actually coming out lesser, sh less sugar and less butter cakes. So that's where I started to do lots of R and B. Like being a marketer, there's a value, there's a demand in the market, and then like um, you have to do a proper value proposition that fits the market. Whenever you ask anyone, is this cake nice? A lot of people they are very simple eaters, so they will just say, oh yeah, it's nice, it's not bad, it's not so sweet, and it's not not sugar. And I was like, oh why not? I just come out skinny cakes. So that's how the name came out. We came out with skinny cakes like that. So it's very um, intuitive. Like, I mean, it's very into your face what we stand for, and it's very easy to remember. So mm, the cakes that we serve are healthier cakes. We focus more on French and Japanese pastries. They're all made to be less sugar and butter, replaced with natural ingredients. Yeah, without any artificial replacement. Our signatures would be the tofu cheese, uh, raspberry rose, on the one day, and our flourless chocolate mousse and also our yogurt muffins. Yeah, like for tofu cheese, right? It's actually made out of 50% real tofu. The rest are actually like a light cream cheese and yogurt. Um, it's so light and we don't really use any artificial replacements at all. Yeah, we just reduce the sugar to the bare minimum that even diabetics can also like take our cakes. For the flourless chocolate mousse, it's gluten-free, nut-free and you know added white sugar in it. So you really taste the chocolate that we use and the chocolate that we use are Valhona. So the cakes we make here are meant to be very light. That's for your daily indulgence without feeling gelat. 
Our customers are right, always saying like they want something new. They, yeah, it's like, do you have anything else? Like, I've tried everything here. So they always challenge me, okay, I must come up with something new. Then I'll ask them, what do you want to eat? What do you feel like eating? What's your favorite flavor? I will just tell them, okay, you like to eat this, I'll make for you. You like cereal milk, I'll do a cereal milk. That's how I come up with my cereal milk, strawberry, lock cake for them. Why I opened Skinny Cakes at uh, the MRT is I wanted a store with a high uh, traffic location, a high footfall. Because from one of the experiences I had on previous bakery is it was really quiet. You, there's a lot of wastage every day. So we tend to throw out cakes that could not sell. And I wanted to avoid this problem of high food wastage. Secondly, I thought it would be quite fun to, for my customers to actually smell the bakes that we make in stores. In this shop, we have everything. At the back is our kitchen. We bake everything from scratch. So it really turned out well because a lot of customers when they walk past, they always smell wow, so sweet. So they step in. Wow, you want to home so much? What is that smell I'm smelling right now? And it kind of worked as a strategy to be able to pull in new customers. Yeah, as for the convenience part, it really didn't occur to me that like, it would be convenient for customers to pick up a cake as they go because cakes are not convenient like to go through. But it's really more for people to know like, oh, there's a cake shop called Skinny Cakes and they serve um, fresh and like healthier cakes. So during Chinese New Year, right, like, or when during the festive, we bake tons of cookies, chocolate cookie. People can smell it, right, even though in the MRT. When they get out of the MRT, they can smell it. And they come out of the escalator, they can smell it. And everybody will come in, what's the smell? What's the smell? We get it every day, like, yeah. So it really works. <laughs> I got one time I made durian cake, right? And I got so scared, you know, because like, MRT cannot sell durian. <laughs> yeah, so I do it, like, faster do finish, like, <laughs> in case got complaint or anything. Over here, we create, we create whatever we like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, we, we, like, I think that I, I, my taste buds are super accurate, really. So, whatever all these things I do, right, I think what is nice. The tofu cheese I came out is because I had it once in a Japanese restaurant in Singapore, and I cannot forget the taste. So after that, I, re I remember the flavour, I said, okay, I want to replicate it and make it even better. I don't follow traditional recipes, so everything I like, I like to challenge the norm. Because if you follow traditional recipes, you are doing what other people are doing. So you'll get the same taste, you need to break the norm. You need to create flavours that are memorable, and people will remember it and they will come back for it. So any of my recipes, right, I created with that in mind. Always like, kind of evil, like, but I want people to eat, to get hooked onto my cakes. And really, that's how we get so many repeats. Bye guys! Anytime when you pass by Boon King MRT, do follow the smell and find us inside the MRT. We are located near SZA. For us, we are called the Skinny Cakes. See you then!